Hi, I'm Bill Morrison from Alligator Wheel Protection. And I'm Scott. Welcome to the Gator Garage. On this install video, we're going to show you how to install the Gator while the wheel is on the car. First of all, you want to make sure you have your Gator prep before installation. That's right, we do have a prep video to show you what to do. Please click here and watch that. We'll wait here while you do that. All right, now that you've had a chance to watch the prep video, we've had a chance to change our clothes. We're going to install the Gator. Now the first step that you want to do is deflate your tire. We've done that already here. Then we're going to take some soapy water, spray the outside of the wheel. Now there's a good way just to lubricate the wheel. So that way it's just easier for the gator to get in between the rim and the tire. It also allows you the opportunity to clean the outside of the rim, get all the dirt, muck, anything that may be on the outside of the wheel. When are you going to install your gator? We recommend that you start at the valve. This is a good way just to keep the looks, the overall aesthetics of it. You're going to start at the end of the gator with the hole in it. Wedge it up in between the wheel and the tire. Take your dead blow hammer. Just tap it inside there. Don't be afraid to hit it. Hit it like it owes you money. Yeah, it's going to seem like a lot of hard hits there, but it's made of a super tough nylon composite. This is designed to help withstand curb damage, so don't be afraid of it. We're going to hit it one more time on the inside of the alloy gator. Now we're ready for a cut. What you want to do is you want to cut it so that there is a little gap of one to three millimeters in between the ends of the alloy gator. Feel free to cut it a little bit less. You can always take a little bit more off later. What I like to do is just mark it where I'm going to cut it. Pull the alloy gator out, use your tool, and you made your cut. What we want to do now is line the side that has the grooves underneath the tab with the teeth and take our dead blow hammer, tap it in, make sure it's sitting flush. Now we're going to take our pry bar and some glue, pull the edge of the alligator out slightly, we put a little bit of glue, along the grooves, like so, and tap it back into place. We now have a little bit of activator spray. Now we're ready to put some air in the tire. For this one, we want to have about 10 to 15 PSI just to reinflate the tire to make sure it grips the gator. So we're at about 10 to 15 pounds right now. We take our hammer and hit it on the inside of the alloy gator. At this point, you're going to see the alloy gator move in a little bit more. Now, we're going to fill up the tire to the vehicle specification. Once the tire is fully inflated, you take your hammer one last time, hitting on the inside of the alligator. We are now ready for our finishing tab. We're going to take the glue, put three drops of glue on the inside of the tab. You line up the tab with the hole. Take some activator spray. We just completed the install of the alloy gator on the wheel. Now, if you are looking for a run flight installation, we do have a video on that as well. Click here to watch that one. 